Hello everyone and welcome back to Spider-Man Miles Morales. Today we'll be doing some more side quest stuff before we get back to the plot. Oh, hold on. We're gonna be a little bit more serious today. If you were hurt in the underground's attack on Roxxon Plaza, physically or emotionally, please, please get help. There's a list of resources on my blog. Switching topics, I'm pulling together an expose on the underground and I need your help. If you have any information you can share, it could help us shine a light on a group that needs to be taken down. Till next time, stay safe. And remember your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Goodbye. We could probably use some information on the underground as well. Yeah, probably. It, it's good that she's uh, looking out for her viewers' uh, mental health, though. Yeah, she's a lot better on that front than good old Jonah, so... I always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of, and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. Yeah, this collectible was a bit of a pain in the ass to get. But let's see what we've got today. First off, we have some idiots here just causing a ruckus, so let's just put a stop to that. You guys wanna switch it up and talk things out this time? No? Alright. Did they just break out of prison? Is that why they're all in jumpsuits? I mean I think they've been wearing those same suits since um last year. <laughs> Friends, today I'm gonna have to be the disappointed man. Not because of Jared, he's actually doing a fine job for a change. No, I'm disappointed that once again, some of you have allowed yourselves to be convinced that it's okay for a complete stranger with zero legal authority to parade around in a Halloween costume pretending to be some kind of savior. And once again, that misplaced faith has resulted in an unimaginable disaster. The truth is, it doesn't matter if you think Spider-Man is good. It doesn't even matter if he thinks he's good. What matters is that every time something gets destroyed in this city, he's there. Or now, his protege is. Ask yourselves, with all these crises we've faced, can we really afford to deal with twice as many? And where will it all end? Spider-Woman? Spider-Punk? Spider pig? Oh, while I vomit at that thought, enjoy these important messages from our fine sponsors. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Jonah. That is Spider Ham, not Spider Pig. Spider Pig was a terrible, terrible skit from the Simpsons movie. <laughs> was it a whole skit? I thought it was just like the one like thing that just was in like every trailer. I think it was a thing in the film as well. I have never actually seen the movie. Uh, me neither. <laughs> so... Cause, you know, watching The Simpsons, anything made past roughly 1999 is a fool's errand. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you weren't kidding about, uh, Jonah being way worse about the incident than, uh, the other podcast. Yeah, and good old Jonah is also repeating himself just a little bit at times, so it can get a little bit old because he's just going over these same things over and over, which I suppose is intentional, but it's still kind of... Yeah, didn't we hear this already? Can we just please do something else? Mm. Also, we are protecting this feast truck from this underground, and um, this is a reskinned version of one of the side activities or the crimes, whatever, from the DLCs, from the third DLC. Specifically. Ah, okay. They're done. It's all good. We got a civilian and uh, Spider-Man on the scene. You don't have to sound so disappointed, dude. Thanks, Spider-Man. Yeah, the goons will try to get to the truck and open the door, so we need to stop them before they do. Is it instant uh, failure if they open the truck? Uh, no, or? there's like a gauge that fills up, so you got some time. So they're, they're, they actually have to steal everything to, for you to fail. 
Yeah, they try to open the driver's side door, basically. And he can't hold them up forever, so... You have, like, five, maybe ten seconds, something like that. Okay. Probably closer to five. But it feels pretty long when you're actually fighting these guys. I have seen a lot of streams where they just, where the streamer just completely misses the entire gauge and then just fails. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Don't let the bright red costume fool you. Stealth is a huge part of this job. In this challenge, take out all enemies without being seen. The faster you do it, the higher you score. Zip to the prompt to get started. Hi, stealth challenge. Let's go. All right, time to play Arkham. Yep, so these stealth challenges return from the previous game and... a few more dudes on that upper area. Game's over if they see me. I need to stay hidden. Patrol. So yeah, these are insta-fail stealth. This one isn't too bad because it's just a bunch of guys we need to take down. But later on we get... Actually, in this video we get one that has like hostages. And that one is just basically... Figure out the optimal route and don't screw up. So it's basically just trial and error, and I'm not really a fan. Yeah, that doesn't sound all that fun. But at least we have Hollow Pit instead of, say, Screwball commenting on the proceedings, so we are not getting insulted constantly, so that's nice. Because that gets kinda old on the 10th attempt. It's nice that when your mission control isn't, uh... tearing you down at every step, I guess. Super high stakes hide and seek. So yeah, in the DLC for the first game, when Screwball's doing this, and she's like, Yeah, Spider-Man, you just kind of suck at this, don't you? And I'm like, on my fifth or sixth attempt, and I'm like, Yep, I certainly do suck at this, thank you for noticing. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to get the ultimate score here. That is kind of... The time limit for that is kind of strict, but it doesn't oh, really yeah. matter. Oh yeah, I just noticed the uh, the timings on the left there. I mean, I could probably be doing this a lot faster than I am, but I also don't want to risk anything, and there isn't really any benefit from getting the gold medal except for some type of weird bragging rights. So, right, right. I'm not even gonna bother. And in some cases, I'm not even gonna bother with the silver, because you do need to get silver from, from all of the challenges to get a trophy, but I already have that, so it's like, whatever. Yeah, th this kind of stealth challenge just kind of strikes me as, a. Uh, you just need to know the exact, like, order to take everything out and when to do it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I could also use the invisibility to help out a little bit, but even that's not like... You don't get complete protection from getting noticed. They will still notice when somebody gets knocked out by an invisible ghost thing. Right. Returning to idle status. Spinning your target. I was trying to pull this scaffolding on that guy, but nah. Was just a bit too late for that, so let's just forget about that for now. Possible disturbance detected. Yeah, I'll be editing these most of these out in the later ones, but I'll just showing this off for for now. I've been playing a lot of uh, Hitman again recently, and like that, just just having that in my uh, my wheelhouse is just making me want to tell you to like cause an explosion to get everyone on alert so that you can just take them out uh, without anyone noticing. Spectacular job! Speedman or Hitman speedrun strats are quite speed the uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Speedman. Speedman strats are pretty impressive. Like that. It kind of sucks that. In this game, we don't have that many gadgets that are, like, stealth-oriented, or gadgets in general, but especially ones for stealth. We get one in the next story mission, but there's nothing like the trip mines from the first game, which sucks because those were my, my favorite gadget in that game. Those were awesome. That's a shame. You just put one of those down and 
it would launch a web line and just, it would just whip, a, whip a guy into the nearest wall. That was great. <laughs> ah, just like the Hitman proximity uh, taser, I guess. I've never actually played Hitman, so I'll take your word for it. Hitman's pretty great. I'm sure that storm will never come up. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes the underground caches are a little bit hidden like this. There's gonna be some debris in front of it and you just have to clear it. It's kind of a neat idea. This could be useful. Not exactly a brain teaser of a puzzle, but just something, I guess. So here we have another stealth one, and this is actually the one that has hostages in it, so... I think we're about to get a podcast. Are we? Yes, we are. Thanks, Jonah. Today I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy's head of R&D, Simon Krieger. Mr. Krieger, you've been out promoting the benefits of your new form reactors, the first of which is set to open in Harlem soon. Yet, you've had some critics. Hmm. Well, first off, Jonah, uh, let me say what an honor and a pleasure it is to be on your show. Oh, well, I'm blushing. And yeah, you're right. We've had some resistance, most notably from Rio Morales, who uh, looks to be a new city council member in the upcoming special election. And I have a, I have a lot of respect for Miss Morales. Uh, she's smart. She's a great role model for young women. But I think she's putting her energy in the wrong place. Our new form reactors will make this a better city, a better home for New Yorkers. But I, I, I guess some people just have a hard time with change. Let me give you some advice. One highly successful man to another. You know what I like to say to my critics? You and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> okay, I, I, uh, I admire your conviction. You're, uh... You're a man who's not afraid to pay a fine in order to make uh, your point. Fine? What do you mean? Jared, how much? Do your editing thing, quick! Okay, that one was pretty good. Good job, Jonah. But I really do wish that those didn't pop up like immediately as I'm trying to go to the next mission or whatever. Yeah, like these are podcasts, so I, I figure you, you should be able to like... Just kind of listen to them at your at your own uh, discretion. Yeah, unfortunately not. You have to like unlock them first by hearing them in the open world before you can actually just listen to them from the menu. So that's a little, little bit weird, but whatever. But the way they always seem to pop up at the worst moment just really reminds me of the phone calls in GTA 4. Hmm. Nico, it's your cousin. Why don't you take me bowling? Let's go bowling. Indeed. But for now, let's just foil this burglary here. That'll teach you not to do that again. Good job, Miles. <laughs> Keep working on it, kid. And I also kind of wish that the crimes wouldn't spawn while the podcasts are going. That just wastes more time, I think, because of course I have to stop all the crimes because I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and I could technically ignore them, but you know, with great power and all that. Hostages, eh? Sounds tense.
Remember, you can take down guys while crawling on walls. <laughs> oh, man. The hostages are all peat. That's funny. Please. Yeah, we have this insta-fail stealth here with hostages, which are all Peter, so that's pretty funny. At <laughs> least. And they say some pretty funny stuff when we actually rescue them. So let's just try to figure out our route here. On my first playthrough, I was able to figure this out pretty well, but it wasn't working out this time. So I think we only get the bronze from this, but again, it doesn't really matter, so... You what? Oh, right. Fake people. Well, at least Miles is getting into it. <laughs> that guy was totally gonna see me if I didn't pop the camouflage. Nice. But does it matter if like someone sees you and you when you're on your when you're on your way to knock them out? Man, this hostage position is really uncomfortable. Well, not really bad. I was just kind of waiting for him to become like open for the takedown without anyone seeing. I suppose. So he would have noticed me before that, probably. And these guys in the underpass here are a little bit annoying. And I'm just getting a little bit confused in general, I suppose. Now there's a thing on the wall you can just about see it next to the barrel. We can't do anything with that just now, but that's a fuse box. And we get a gadget pretty soon that we can use to do something with the fuse boxes, but we don't have it yet, sadly. It would actually probably help quite a bit in this one, but oh well. Ah, they're not moving far enough. I think we might get one over here. We are doing terrible on time here, but... I mean, that's just kind of how it goes with stealth games, like... The, the, the whole idea with the stealth game is how do you make waiting entertaining, and, you know... It is what it is. Alright, so let's just see if we can get these guys to split up. Yeah, I failed this a couple of times, and at that point I was like... Also, that marker just changed into danger just as I was hitting that guy. Oof. I know my hero will save me. It's a bit finicky sometimes. You say Miles, I say amazing. Miles, amazing. Miles, amazing. All hostages freed. Huge success. So yeah, even if you totally suck at this, you'll still get props from Pete, so... So that's cool. Just seeing if we have any interesting upgrades here. We could make enemies visible through walls after scanning, but we should probably get the one that gives us more time to hit the perfect dodge. Although we don't actually have the second buzzer mod slot unlocked, so we'll just wait. Wait right. to unlock that before, before we actually equip anything. I don't think we have anything else available to us right now. Now that you've gotten the hang of them, stealth takedowns will give you a boost in power. Nothing like being in the stealth zone. You gotta remember to bust out a few stealth takedowns next time. What was I doing the entire time there, Miles? <laughs> now was that was that Peter saying that uh you'll Oh, I'll Hi, wait. Friends and welcome to the Danicast. You may have heard that I endorse candidate Real Morales for city council in the special election. So today I'm interviewing her. For real! Thank you for being on, Ms. Morales. Thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love your show. Aww. Thanks. So you're running against the incumbent in your district. How do you think you can do better? Unlike my opponent, I live in the district. And I listen to the people who call it home. I want Harlem to be as vibrant and safe as it was while I was growing up here. 
Roxxon Plaza was built on the current leadership's watch. That alone should make anyone think twice about voting for him. We agree on that. Switching gears a bit, you're a full-time science teacher. What made you want to jump into politics? It's really about loving my home and wanting to fight for it. During Martin Lee's attack on City Hall, my husband gave his life to protect others. I want to honor his memory by fighting for my neighbors and friends the best way I know how. Good luck in the polls, and thank you for being on the show. Dana fans, you can join an AMA with Candidate Morales on my blog for the next hour. Until next time, remember to set one minute per hour aside for deep, meditative breathing. This helps you clear your head. Okay, bye. I'm not sure why they never mention her opponent there because, or her opponent by name, because it's not really a big mystery or anything. They just don't ever mention it. Yeah, that seems kind of odd. Um, what I was gonna ask is, uh, when when Peter said that stealth takedowns will give you a power boost or whatever, does, does he just mean that uh, they're stronger now because you've done the training, or...? Uh, no, we unlock this skill that just gives us more Venom build up when we take down guys in stealth. Oh, okay. Which I suppose is kind of useful, but... But also kind of whatever. But let's see what this citizen has to say. Okay. Your crane looks very drowsy. How can I help? <laughs> yeah, drowsy. The motor burned out and all the ice buildups thrown it off balance. Yep, that's bad, all right. I cleared the area under the crane, but it could still fall onto the street. You gotta get the ice off before that happens. I'm on it. Yeah, that is just a little bit precarious, so we should probably fix that. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ugh. This is why P gave me a C in equipping. This is oddly satisfying. This seems like a... We don't actually have to do it while hanging in midair. We can just, like, perch here and shoot the whiff from here, so... Oh yeah, but you gotta do it for the style points. This seems kind of dangerous, though. Just letting what the ice fall. What could possibly go wrong? As everyone's favorite animal mascot once said. <laughs> now to find a good spot to steady the crane from. Okay, just need to swing it back away from the street. Oh no 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 no! Okay. Didn't hurt anyone. But if I know my train schedules, I gotta get that off the track ASAP. I gotta break it quickly. You must punch faster! Well, stopping the crane was only the tip of the iceberg. But, okay, that's enough ice puns for today. Well done. We almost caused a huge disaster again. Uh, and hey, destroyed a pipe. I'm so glad you're using the app. It really feels like it's catching on with people. I'm not surprised, dude. You nailed it. Take a bow. Yeah, that played again for some reason. I'm not <laughs> sure why. Hi, honey. What are you up to? Oh, just you know, went on a run. Again? Miles, you're working so hard lately. You need to carve out time to relax. I am. I've been hanging with Genki, sampling music. Working out all the time, disappearing for hours to study. I'll stop telling you what to do, but I worry about you, mijo. If I'm feeling burnt out, I'll come talk to you about it, okay? I'll hold you to that. I love you. Bye. Adios, ma. Te quiero. It would be nice if there was, like, a music sampling activity in the game. That would be cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. Another one of these in a slightly weird position. Also, I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a T-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life.
Now Dazzler of course was a mutant character in the comics. A very 80s mutant character. She was like this disco. Well, maybe not disco because disco would have been kind of dead by that point. But you know what I mean. Like this pop star basically. And her power was to basically just create, well, flashy lights. I see. And that is not the only reference to Dazzler in this game for some reason. Maybe somebody in somebody on the team like Dazzler a lot or something. I don't know. Oh, we are actually doing this now. I actually forgot we were doing the main mission already. Okay. Sad to see it like this. Should find a low-profile way in. Don't want to draw attention. Here we go. <coughs> Hello? Man, this place is dusty. No one's been here in a while. Okay, let's check this place out and... The game was doing the thing where Miles was getting stuck in, like, the combat animations. So I loaded the save to just make him walk around normally. That's a fun bug. Yeah, that was already in the first game and I guess they just never got around to fixing it. Anyway, I'm just looking at all these shelves and trying to find broadcast monitors. <laughs> Nothing in here's been touched for at least six months. Must be more hiding somewhere. I think I see a PC CRT over on the left there. Yeah, but that's not that's not a PVM though. Yeah. There, there's a CRT, but that just sucks. That doesn't have any inputs, probably aside from RF. Oh man, three near identical uh, <laughs> Radicasters. There wasn't anything he couldn't fix. He said one of these used to belong to Allison Blair, but I think he was full of it. And there was our second reference to Dazzler in about five minutes. Hmm. I don't know if the shop has any PVMs. No, it doesn't. I was very disappointed. <laughs> yes, I may be way too deep into the retro gaming stuff at this point. Three Look, whatever, whatever helps you get, uh... Hit those QTs and Yakuza too. Think it was Finn who convinced him not to. Rick's ESU textbooks. He took night classes so he could keep running the shop during the day. Guy was unstoppable. Someone left the lights on. But yeah, this does seem like nobody's been here in quite some time, so let's just see if we can find anything. Anything interesting? Rocks on ID for Ella Sterling. But the photo is of Finn. Finn was working with someone to break into Rocks on. Someone, huh? Hmm. Come on, Miles, it's not that difficult to figure out. Let's see what else we got here. The team that created New Form all got sick. And wait, Rick was project lead? Hmm. Also, it was pointed out in the thread that um, the Tinkerer's real name in the comics was originally Phineas Mason. I didn't actually remember that. <laughs> so yeah, that would have been a pretty big hint once Finn showed up in the game. Uh, yeah, anyone from, anyone anyone who remembered the source material would probably have figured it out, like, immediately. Some kind of meds. GCSF. Used for treating bone marrow decay. Whose was this? Gee, Miles, I wonder. Hmm. 
Not exactly the world's greatest detective there. Now I thought I could just punch my way through normally, because that looks like you should be able to punch through that. But no, we have to Venom punch it. <laughs> okay, this is a secret room. You don't say. Okay, let's see what's in this obvious evil lair. One of these just progresses the story immediately, so let's just ignore that and look at this instead. Finn must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. Yeah, I think you can miss out on that if you go to this immediately. Hmm. Video file from six months ago. Running a test upload. <coughs> Half my team is sick. But Krieger still want him in his new form. We need to do this tonight. Let me. You sure we're ready? We have to be. They broke ground in Harlem today, ahead of schedule. Poisoning the city to make a buck. They keep cutting corners, ignoring safety reports. I can't. Let them pervert my work like this, Finn. Okay. First we flush the core, then we wipe all data. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey too. But without me, they'll have no idea how new form works. Project will be DOA. I'll record us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Perfect. You ready to save New York? Ready. There's a second video. Ugh, damn it. No uploads. Phone must have been damaged. Tonight be for nothing. <laughs> I promise, Rick. They were trying to shut the new form project down. Something went wrong. Last known location of her phone. If I can track it. Okay. Come on, come on. Invisible, be invisible. Come on. He's here! Oh, loudly! Oh, boy, snipers. Good fun. Snipers to calm down. I can take them out from above. Okay, let's just wait until they kind of lose track of us. Well, this guy already did, so... So off we go. So let's see here. I think I might be able to take both of these guys down in stealth if I pop the camouflage, but... But I'm not entirely sure. And yep. I just ended up taking them out normally. Yeah, I'm not sure it's uh you could you could do that with the way they're set up. Yeah, probably not. They have better peripheral vision than guards in video games usually do. Actually I did pop it. Yeah, that guy noticed it, so oh well. But that's okay, we can just take out this couple of guys and then get back into stealth. Yeah, you hit me once, good job. <laughs> you say that as he's fighting without the real Spider-Man. These guys are still on high alert. Gotta let them chill before I can get the drop on them. You can't hide forever, you little twerp! Oh, 
Wait, that guy definitely had danger on the marker there, but... You got lucky then. He's just... He's hiding! Yeah, sometimes it doesn't seem to matter. Other times it does. And you just get spotted. It's pretty finicky, like I said earlier. <laughs> What's that? Okay, back to that computer. If I can find Finn's phone, maybe I can understand what happened to Rick and why she became the tinkerer. There, got a location. <laughs> 